What I remember is we had kind of talked to our neighbor who attends Grandview and his kids attend the school. So he had told us he goes to a great church down the road. If we were interested in going, it's a great place. We might really enjoy it. I came to Grandview during COVID when the parking lot services started. I actually had heard a lot about Grandview from several members at the church and decided to get out of the house and get around people, even if we had to sit in our cars. We live in an apartment complex, so um, the bus would come and pick up other kids in the complex, and they were always uh, trying to get our kids to come on the bus with them to church. So originally, we, uh, we were looking for a, a school for our grandson. They started going to church, and he got accepted into the school, and then so they're like, uh, uh, Mom and Dad, you guys really need to come check it out. It's a great church. And so the first time we came was for the Christmas uh, the event, program, yeah. the program that you guys had going. Well, I was um, kind of just raised in a church that um, was not Baptist, where you were just kind of almost taught that you were um, saved as, as long as you believed it. But I don't know that I really truthfully understood it or believed it until I started going to church at Grandview. Trunk or Treat was like the main entrance for us into the church. We started to meet some of the folks that attended regularly. Um, we noticed that they had a children's academy and uh, so we decided to go ahead and give it a try and dive right in. They started going to school here and you know we kept talking about how friendly people were and the kids were doing great in school and we were I think looking for a church that was like, like a home for our family. And then as Summer got more involved in choir and um, different outreaches that Grandview offers, it was easier to come back in and go uh, full attendance. We sat in church and lo and behold we looked over at each other and this is, we just thought this is where we need to be. This, is, this is, sounds like a home for us and we've been looking for a church and I think we found it. And lo and behold we haven't left since we started Grandview. You know when we just first decided to come to a service, we showed up and, I mean, immediately, I mean, they talk about it every single service mm -hmm. about, you know, welcoming new people and, um, you know, we filled out one of the, the welcome cards mm -hmm. and, like, within a week, Pastor Layman was at our door with a box of cookies and... Then in April, um, I got saved and in June, you got saved, Correct. right? And then in September, we got baptized together. I got saved on March 13th of 2022. And we were at the church. Um, we've been going at this point every Sunday since October. Pastor Layman and Pastor Mutchler had always said, you know, if anyone in the crowd feels like they're ready to make that next step, that next commitment, you know, feel free to come up to the stage and we'll have that discussion and, and we can uh, help you with that matter. One morning I had gone up there and Pastor Mutchler had met me and I told him that I wanted to be saved and he helped me with that procedure and you know, asked Jesus to be my savior. And the first Sunday that I came with Sawyer by myself, uh, Pastor Layman noticed that I was having a few issues and so he actually came to the back and showed me that there was a nursery within the church. I walk over and he says, well, if you're comfortable with leaving Sawyer here, you know, we can finish up a church session, we can go to a home builders class. And I looked in and you know, you have your concerns. It's like, I don't know anybody here yet. So trying to drop your kid off at the nursery, you know, it's like trying to figure that out. What would my wife think? Because it was just Sawyer and I that morning. I let Sawyer stay there and Lo and behold, he had the best time of his life. He got to meet other kids, play with other kids. I signed up for the softball league and got to know everybody and how nice everyone was. You know, Summer kept on saying, I want to get baptized, I want to get baptized. And I just, for some reason, I was scared and just kind of trying to put it off. And so then when Chris came, I think we got all baptized at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then we became a member, I believe, that same day. We're with the Lively Group with the Abundant Life. Um, class and we really like it. It's great fellowship, uh, good food. <laughs> it was the food. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> but the food was good. <laughs> but we never really done a Sunday school uh, fellowship 
type of class before. Mm -mm. And it's been really enjoyable. I just came to the class and got to meet some really wonderful people and the teaching was at that time on the Old Testament learning about Daniel. And I just felt connected and realized that I wanted to make Grandview my home. Justin really finds a, a lesson that he can teach on that's something like we might in a few weeks we're gonna think back, hey we spoke about this. I think the consistency of, of Sunday school where you're not able to be anonymous like you might be in a, during a regular sermon, that that has um, made an impact on my prayer life. Definitely helps set the mood for the, for the church day. Pastor Lehman, he's the one who invited us to the starting point class. Basically, there's no pressure involved. Right. He just uh, sits at the class, they explain a few things to you, and there's no commitment uh, needed at the time. It's just an explanation of how the church operates. We may not have been officially members yet, but as new um, people of the congregation, it was very helpful because it uh, gave us an insight of the basics of how the church got started, its humble beginnings. What we believe, what the Baptist Church is all about, also gave me a good way to take an assessment to learn where my spiritual gifts are at. Um, we really love the fact that we study the King James Bible and everything that we deal with is the words of God. Since we started coming here, I get to drive the kids to school in the morning, but also we're driving them to Sunday school on Sunday. It gives us an opportunity for them to talk about what they either learned the day before or the, the Sunday before. We didn't really have that before, and it's really like opened up like incredibly deep conversations as a family that we just didn't have an excuse to have before. And I've been very, very blessed and no, this is where God has me. We're one month into the discipleship yeah. program yeah. now. And it's a 14 week long program. What an incredible program. It's so in depth. It goes through every aspect of the Christian walk. It like walks you through the Bible um, and just different aspects of your faith, um, apologetics. We're still new to this, so the Bible reading, we're kind of like in the beginning of it. And so it just kind of brings everything together. A lot of this is new to me, and so really understanding like how the Bible's written and the, putting the grounding stuff in front of my knowledge is important to help me grow as a Christian. You hear like that's in the Bible, but it's different to actually like see it. We meet with uh, Pastor Lehman on Wednesday nights. It's usually about uh, 45 minutes to an hour long. He's not afraid to uh, answer any questions we have, which I have a lot. With people that you can fellowship with and spend time with that um, you know can answer questions for you, pray with you, uh, and be a really good support system for you. For me, it's kind of connecting the dots um, and it's giving me a better understanding. Instead of only running to God when things are bad, it was more a hunger for it on a daily basis. You can feel safe to show up and not know anything at all or have already been a Christian for a period of time. The way that you have people in your corner just checking in with you, how's your week going, praying for you, um, it's definitely one of the big things that you get out of the discipleship program is just having a closer bond with the people that you go through that with. I work in a very bad part of Portland. It made me angry because it affects you know, my job with the high theft. It affects our pay in a way because we get smaller bonuses and it's helped calm me. It's helped me be more relaxed. You know, these people need help and it'd be nice to help them, you know, and if you can, maybe give them a track. Since I've become a new Christian and walk with God, um, I worry less and pray a lot more, and that's an inner peace that I've never had before. I'm a worrier, and um, there was so much good information that just reminded me how important it is to just give it to the Lord. And it's helped me um, regroup and refocus myself as the leader of my house and as the father and the husband and everything like that. And we've been married for 38 years and we've always had a good relationship, but I think it's strengthened our relationship. Yeah, definitely brought us closer. Yes. It's definitely turned the Bible into our steering wheel as opposed to our spare wheel. Right now I'm going through the book with my father and I'm hoping to do it with my brothers as well. And I would encourage anybody 
who is either new or currently strong in their faith to check it out. I think for me, we went to Grandview for a really long time. Um, he was serving in the basketball poop it up and I wasn't and I've just felt really like I don't know incomplete Chuck asked us about helping out with Awana and um, Nate's really busy all the time and he was kind of like mm, and I'm like I'll help you let's do it I'll help you I'll go with you so we um, started serving in Awana and yes you're tired but every time we go there we're like that was fun that was really fun one of the things I really felt that needed to change and this again was the prompting I know of the Lord was to get involved plug in and serve so it first started with VBS Vacation Bible School um, we wanted to get involved and so we kind of volunteered and uh, we ended up working the uh, jump houses outside. We made a screen out of out of you know, cloth and everything else and we did puppets. Nobody can see us, we just had puppets and that's how we got started in children's ministry. So I work in the nursery once a month and that's really fun. I quite enjoy it. We decided to do the petting zoo with Pastor and then we loved it so much we went home and we were talking about how we could do it better next yeah. year. <laughs> I've helped, you know, trailer things over to the picnic that we have at the local park and I've helped Justin set up things for his house when he ha wants to have the Awana class at his house. And then that led into um, Truck or Treat. Truck. That was our first. <laughs> that was a big one. Uh, I got my dad to come to Veterans yeah. Day. Um, I've never been to church with my dad, so that was like a big deal to me. This last Saturday, I actually, for the first time, went and actually got to knock on doors. I was the silent person. Um, well, I actually led my mom to Christ, who um, is turning 80 in another couple weeks. Her response was, I wanted to go where you were going. And I said, well, I'm going to heaven. She goes, well, I want to go with you. Colby's going to be having us help with some of the AV stuff during uh during sermon next year, so that's going to be fun to learn some of that. I got to lead all three of my grandsons to the Lord. I think part of serving, though, is just uh, getting used to doing things that are a little outside your comfort zone, especially if you're not raised in the church. You know, I think service has really, it's humbled us, um, you know, because we've been able to invest our time into other people. So the worries, you know, when we're in the hustle and bustle and we're worrying about ourselves, now we're more concerned about other people and the way they're living and what they're going through. And so there's been times where we've helped people out financially, we've helped them get groceries, we've invested more emotion into other people because we've been serving and we've seen that side of things.